Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead on this Sunday afternoon as we are looking at a disturbance which is now centered uh, pretty close to the Oracle text, responsible for the scattered showers and thunderstorms that we've seen this afternoon. It is going to be moving towards the east, and as that happens, uh, looking at uh, drier weather across the region tomorrow. And then this trough will push a cold front through the area Tuesday, and you can see the rain associated with that coming front uh, now well to our north and northwest. So let's take it through the next few days here with Robin starting a future cast and you can see that uh, tonight uh, the spotty showers and thunderstorms will come to an end this evening as we'll see a partly cloudy sky tonight. Tomorrow I expect a mix of clouds and sunshine. Rain possible but to be honest with you pretty much all of the area is going to stay dry as rainfall chances 10 percent or less for most of the region. And then moving into uh, basically tomorrow night we'll see a, a bit of an increase in the clouds late. Notice the showers and thunderstorms associated with the cold front off to our north and west. That activity will slide its way towards the south and east. And we will see an increase in the thunderstorms come Tuesday afternoon. Severe weather looking doubtful at this point, but we could have a few strong thunderstorms late in the day Tuesday and Tuesday evening. That activity should move out of the area very quickly Tuesday evening as the cooler and drier air begins to move into uh, the area. As far as rainfall potential, kind of feast or famine, as most of the Oracle texts will receive less than an inch, but there could be a few spots that see rainfall totals that exceed two inches. Definitely will be a possibility, especially with some of the strongest thunderstorms over the southern half of the area. Now as far as the cool down behind it, you can see what's going to take shape as we go through the week ahead. We will see this disturbance, as I mentioned, move off towards our east. Drier weather on the way tomorrow. Here comes the cold front and you can see a pretty good dip in this upper level trough is going to usher in some much cooler air across the region as we'll see highs tomorrow and Tuesday ahead of the front in the lower 90s and then a big drop off in temperatures behind this front. In fact, the coolest night could be Thursday night, Friday morning. It's possible that a few areas could see uh, temperatures that dip into the 40s across the region. I ignore that heat index uh, value there as uh, the graphic didn't update apparently. But nonetheless, so we are looking at temperatures dipping into the low to middle 50s Friday morning for most of the region. And then we will see uh, again a little bit of a warm up heading into uh, the weekend next weekend as the dry conditions will begin Wednesday and we could go more than a week without any chance of any rainfall across the area. So as far as your uh, forecast tonight looking uh, partly cloudy it'll be warm and muggy. Look for lows mainly in the upper 60s to lower 70s. That includes 72 in Shreveport, 71 tonight in Texarkana. Temperatures tomorrow will warm back up into the lower 90s with uh, nothing too much as far as rain as we'll see uh, 92 degrees for the high in Shreveport, 91 in Texarkana, and 90 for the high temperature tomorrow in Natchitoches. 10-day forecast shows the cool down. You'll see the specifics on just how cool we will get. Uh, you can see Wednesday, eight, low 80s, Wednesday and Thursday for highs with some sunshine. Lows will dip into the mid-50s in Shreveport, again low to middle 50s elsewhere with a few upper 40s possible. We'll then see that warm up with temperatures back up close to 90 by the end of next weekend. Nighttime lows should also return to the low to middle 60s. So all in all, some changes on the way. Cold front will bring our next best chance for some thunderstorms Tuesday. Then we dry out and cool off with the coolest air of the season on the way by the end of the work week.